Let's lift into this video and talk about pulleys. Hi, I'm Mike. Sometimes parts and components are very similar to each other, but there are key differences between them that result in different applications for each. In each episode of this video series from Radwell TV, we compare parts that are similar to each other, but also have their differences. Today I will be explaining the similarities and differences between a fixed pulley, a movable pulley, and a compound pulley. The biggest similarity between these three devices is their purpose to ease the moving and lifting of heavy objects. A fixed pulley is the simplest of the three. As its name implies, the pulley is fixed in one spot and remains stationary as it operates. A fixed pulley is made up of three main components, one wheel and a chain, rope, or wire that has a hook attached to it. With the wheel of the pulley fixed to a stationary surface, the rope, cable, or wire will be wrapped around the wheel, attaching the hook to the load. A human operator or a mechanical device, such as a motor, will pull down on the opposite side the load is attached to. The pulley will remain still as the opposite side of the rope lifts the object. A movable pulley is a little bit more complex than a fixed pulley. This is because a movable pulley allows for the pulley to move up and down while the end of the rope is fixed. A movable pulley is also made up of a wheel, a chain, a rope, or a wire, and a hook attached to it. With the rope, cable, or wire fixed to an immovable object, the wheel of the pulley will be attached to the load by the hook. The rope will wrap around the wheel and with an upward pull of the rope, the object will be lifted along with the wheel. A compound pulley is the most complex of the three. It is a combination of a fixed and movable pulley which allow for the ability to be able to change the direction and multiply the pulling force all at the same time. Being a system of pulleys, a compound pulley is typically made up of two wheels, a chain, a rope, or a wire, and a hook attached to it. One end of the rope is fixed to an immovable object. On the opposite end of a wheel will be fixed to the same object as a fixed pulley would be. Then a second wheel will be fixed to the load as a movable pulley would be. With the rope looped around both wheels, a downward pull allows for the object to be lifted away. The biggest difference between these three types of pulleys is their design construction. A fixed pulley's wheel is what is fixed and remains stationary. A movable pulley's rope is fixed and remains stationary, while its wheel is capable of moving. Compound pulleys make use of both, and have one fixed pulley and another movable pulley. Due to their design differences, each pulley has different operational movement. A fixed and compound pulley's lifting ability comes from a downward pull, while a movable pulley's lifting ability comes from an upward pull of the rope, cable, or wire. All three of these pulleys provide the same operation and allow for easier lifting and moving of loads, although they have different abilities that make lifting and moving heavy weight easier. Thanks for watching this Compare the Parts episode. For information about Radwell, visit radwell.com or connect with us on social media.